They say eToro is a scam, that they will steal your money and send few cents to your partner in a shoebox just to disgrace your name. So is eToro safe or will they scam you? Yes, it's safe. And no, they will not scam you. Video done. <laughs> okay, okay. I went a bit crazy with that dramatic opening, right? Etor is a legit company, but here's the catch. You do need to look at the fine print. Otherwise, you will definitely feel like you're being screwed over and not in a good way. So let's take a look at what makes them legit and what you should look out for. And I also share some of my personal experiences so far with the platform because I've been with them three years. Hello internet people, my name is Robert. Glad to have you on board. So eToro has been growing steadily in the last few years and according to SimilarWeb, they have more than 125 million visits per month. Mostly from European countries, with Italy leading the way. Hey, eToro, are you going to scam me? In Europe, eToro is regulated by CSEC, and in the UK, eToro is regulated by FCA. And in the land down under, eToro is a holder of Australian Financial Services license. So they need to follow certain regulations, although, since we are on the topic, they are based in Virgin Islands. Hmm. Yeah, that's not a trustworthy sign, right? A couple of surfers selling some stocks on their laptops, right? Ugh. Despite the obvious creative tax management, I think it's not in their long-term interest to screw people over. They are running a big business in extremely competitive market. Also, they've announced that they're going public in a stock exchange. But let's take a look at the few of the most important things you need to know about eToro. First of all, the zero commission is only for non-CFD and non-leveraged assets. So basically, most US stocks will be with zero spread fees. But you will still have to pay for the other fees, such as currency conversion fees or withdrawal fees of 5 bucks. The other assets, you will have spread fees and potentially overnight fees. And just remember, when leveraging, you're essentially dealing with CFDs, aka you pay eToro spread fees. My detailed video about all eToro fees with an Excel calculator will be in the description of this video. So keep an eye for the CFD mark when dealing with stocks and you will see all the applied fees in the trade pop-up. Other things that are a bit iffy with eToro are things like variable spread fees for some assets like cryptos and currencies, so the spread fees might fluctuate a little bit. Then some people seem to have issues with withdrawal speed, for some it takes more than a week to receive their money in their bank account. Personally, I haven't had issues with this, but I can imagine with such a global clientele there can be issues with payments. Also similar to what happened with Robinhood during the GME saga like a month ago or so, eToro can limit trades in volatile situations to cover their arses. I'm not sure if they had some limitations on GME, but for sure they limited oil trades at the beginning of 2020. If you want a more in-depth overview of the pros and cons of eToro, I actually have a separate video for that. You can see it by clicking on the white YouTube card right here. Personally, I haven't had any issues with eToro. And okay, I might be a bit biased as I've been using them for about 3 years, but so far so good. As long as you are aware of the certain and really annoying fine prints, you should be able to enjoy the platform and potentially invest successfully. So from my experience, Ito has been good. I like that it's so easy to use and they have so many different uh, assets. On the other hand, I'm also being very passive with Etoro, just copy some of the traders and I let them do the work. So for me, Etoro has been super passive. I use another platform to actually trade for uh, specific stocks and also I like the community part of Etoro. Or you can always go and check it out what people are saying. I think comments are one of the fun part of the whole platform. But to be honest, if you're like a trade day trader, probably eToro is not the best place for you. Neither if you're in cryptos because that's really not what they're focusing on. The uh, fees are way too high for that. But for stocks and just uh, general investing, I think it's a great platform. For more details about all eToro fees, check out the video right here. And in the second video right here, you will learn how eToro stacks against other trading platforms.